back to another episode of Terraria 1.3 with TXW. Something has changed in the world. I have finally decided that expert mode is just too much of a burden. And so I switched the world into normal mode because we could continue with expert mode, but it was just causing me to just not like the game and just not want to make videos on it. That's why there's so few videos whenever we were playing expert mode and stuff. It's because I just didn't want to play. And also, as I have ever less free time, as my free time ever decreases or whatever, however that sentence should be phrased, I can't quite think it out. I have less and less time to actually sit down and play Terraria and prepare just for failure, for expert mode and stuff. So, yeah, switched it from expert mode to normal mode so that we can actually make progress. So it's less of a major time commitment for me. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely continue to play expert mode on my own when I have time. But for now, I am good with how things are. So. I don't know how this video will be edited because I'm trying to work out my Adobe Premiere situation because, as you may know, uh, I've had money issues with the former network that I was a partner of where they didn't pay me for, they didn't pay me for like five months, but I have switched it over, but all my videos were unmonetized without my knowledge, which was unfortunate, but I'm getting it figured out. I think I got some free days of Premiere, but we will see. And hopefully everything will work out fine. So, yeah, what we are going to be doing this episode is we are going to head to the dungeon for a very special little thing. Uh, so I can just get a Thorns Potion and an Iron Skin Potion, as well as any other potions I may need. Probably Night Vision Potion, Shine Potion would be good. What else should we get? Um, I think we're pretty good. So, let's just get the Iron Skin Potion. We just need some iron, a Day Bloom, and the other materials. Uh, I've played Terraria for fun in a really long time. This feels, this feels good. All right, so what do we need? We need this, we need a Day Bloom, uh, wherever that is, right in here. What else do we need? Iron Skin Potion, is this it? Yes it is! There we go! Alright, we are set! Let's head to the dungeon as quickly as possible. We will figure out our loadout when we get there and stuff. But yeah, I am quite ready to be able to move on. I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to beat Skeletron. But I'm not going to get too cocky because as Han Solo says, Don't get cocky, kid! So yeah, I really hope I'm going to beat him. So that way we, so that that way we'll be able to uh, explore the dungeon and actually make progress. So every episode will not be just the same thing. Hey guys, Trex here. Welcome back to uh, another episode of Terraria 1.3 with TRXW. Back in Terraria 1.3, let's play world. I'm gonna try and fight Skeletron again for the, what is this, the 17th time now that we failed on expert mode. I haven't had time to make any improvements to my loadout, so we'll probably just end in our demise again. Might as well just skip Skeletron, come back to him when we're in hardcore mode. Look at that, the wall of flesh is also really tough. I don't have time to build the bridge anymore, so yeah, because that's pretty much how the last few episodes have gone. I've just been uninterested, I haven't cared, and I've made like one Terraria video a week, or every two weeks, when I should have been making six every two weeks and three a week. Oh, how did I not grab on anything? Oh my gosh. How did I not grab on anything? It went through all the blocks. And what is this lighting doing? Oh man, I don't have time for this. I'm trying to get to the dungeon. Ah! Alright. Well, we've still got some time, but we are a bit behind schedule, but we should make it in time to still fight him. We'll definitely be able to fight him and stuff, and we do have the arena, 
all set up already because we've had to improve upon that several times. But depending on how much time we have for the fight, we will see how things go. So yeah, I am ready to make some progress. I'm ready to explore the dungeon to get the Knight's Edge, finally, to get the Engineer to do some wiring, to finally freaking defeat Skeletron. It's going to be so great when we can actually defeat him, hopefully. I think it... I think it worked, I don't know. I did use T-Edit, and you never know with T-Edit uh, if it'll work or not. So hopefully it did, and we'll see. But I didn't use T-Edit for anything else. I only used it for changing the world. But yeah, we should be good. So let's, I believe we are almost there. Yep, there's the giant tree and the arena. So we are almost there and besides he starts a bit later so alright so as you guys know uh, I don't know how many people saw this because uh, I think it was at 90 something views last I checked but Trigger gets more views so I'll also say here as you guys may know I've been having money troubles recently with the former network I was a part of where their parent company it wasn't their fault it was the fault of the parent company they uh, had an issue with their bank or whatever and refused to pay out um, the creator's money. So I lost a whole bunch of money. My bank account slowly went down. I wasn't able to afford running the channel. And yeah, it was just a very, very not fun time. Um, but that stuff is getting figured out. I have no money right now. So I can't really afford any of the stuff that I used to. And I'm already in debt to like, my parents because I had a whole bunch of stuff stolen from me um, on the way back from a soccer trip and I have to pay them back for buying all my new school supplies but maybe my insurance will come through and I'll have some money to put into the channel so yeah it's just waiting on the insurance until I know what I'll be able to do with my money but, yeah money is stressful try not to get involved with sketchy network well it wasn't a sketchy network but do your research before your friend tells you, hey, join this network, it's got relatively high revenue. Because it had 70% revenue, and the new network I'm a part of, Curse, has 90% revenue. So yeah, I made the awesome switch, Curse is great, except all my videos were unmonetized during the switch, and I didn't know. Uh, so for a month and a half, I only made a dollar and 26 cents, where I should have made a bunch more to afford the run of the channel. But Curse helped me out, re-monetized all my videos for me at once. It was fantastic. And everything should be good. By the way, guys, I'm totally not on YouTube for the money. It's just a really nice side benefit. And with the money that I make, I put almost all of it right back into improving the channel as much as I can. Like using a better editor and in the future probably buying a better microphone. So, yeah. Don't get on YouTube for the money. You won't have fun. Do it. Do it to have fun. Seriously, that's the advice. That's the only advice I can give to you. That's the only advice everybody gives. So, is it time to curse? I don't know. Hold on one second. Alrighty then. All set up so that we won't be disturbed. He looks like he is describing his emotions. He is not ready to curse. Uh, to be cursed. Oh. Do the music change? Music almost changed. I thought the music changed. Come on, man. Come on, let me curse you. Let me curse your children. Yeah, we've only gotten this far into the dungeon before we were slayed by a dungeon guardian. Oh, here we go. Ready to curse? Buff up. Here we go. Skeletron is going to die. Let's demon side this up. And we will see if he is in expert mode. I don't think he is. Thank goodness the world is no longer in expert mode, I believe. So, we are good. We should be able to defeat him, but it has been a long time since I played, uh, since I beat the Skeletron. But I think we'll be good. Let's do this. Alright, Skeletron, get on my level, bro. Come here, come down here. I'm gonna demon scythe you, and it's gonna be sweet. Is it's just gonna be a ton of damage going your way. Oh, shoot him through there. No, no, don't hurt my nurse. My nurse is my friend. Nurses are friends, except for Nurse Ratchet. Nurse Ratchet. 
because uh, she gives lobotomies and electroshock therapy. And it's just very not nice to Jack Nicholson. Alright, oh, this is perfect. This demon said it's going to do so much damage. Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's continue to nade him up. Just get over here, bro. Come here. Oh, yeah, big hit on him. Uh, remember in the old... I think it was the one point... Uh, I bet very few people remember this, but in my ancient Let's Play, like two years ago on my old channel, uh, in 1.1, we would con we it took like three tries to defeat the Eater of Worlds because every single time we would fight him, I blew myself up with a grenade. I just always remember that, and I bet like maybe one person that sees this video remembers that too. But I always think of that when I'm using grenades in a boss fight. So yeah, look at that. Look at how much damage we're doing. We're not just doing one damage. We are actually killing him. And he is... Expert mode Skeletron is just such a difficulty curve. Like, it's not even fair. I am serious. It is just not fair. What, how hard he is. And he really should be morphed. Because, like, you need an impossibly big arena. And a ton of time. Uh, you pretty much have to have hardcore gear to defeat him. Alright, but he is almost dead. I think we should go in for the melee to finish him off. Finish him! Or though, nope, 536. I think we can do that melee. Maybe. Maybe, maybe blue. Or maybe Fumke. Yeah, she wouldn't be maybe blue. She'd be maybe Fumke. Alright, okay, what's he at? 327? Watch this. Oh! Nailed it. Alright, here he goes. What's he gonna do? Hey, Mr. Skeleton. Hey, Mr. Scott. Whatcha gonna do? Whatcha gonna do? Make her dreams come true. Hey, Mr. Skeleton. Whatcha gonna do? Whatcha gonna do? Make my dreams come true! We beat him! We got boned! Oh, yeah. Oh. That was a weird way to phrase it. But we got the achievement boned. We beat Skeletron. Finally. He's like impossible on expert mode. But we were able to beat him in normal mode. I am very happy now. Who cares about the special expert mode item? I don't even know what it was. I don't even really care. Uh, let's see though. Drawn expert mode item. What does he give you? Um... In expert mode, Skeletron drops a... What's in the treasure bag? The treasure bag contains... Oh my gosh, come on. Where is it? Skeletron, Skeletron. He gives the bone glove, which is something that does something. I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't need it. We're in normal mode, guys. We're going to make some progress. I'm enjoying Terraria again. Expert mode is absolutely brutal. Uh, don't do it unless you have a ton of free time, which I do not, even though I have 680 hours of playtime. It, yeah, expert mode is a commitment. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this major accomplishment in the series. So glad we're in normal mode. Next episode, we will come down into the dungeon and explore its depths. But that is for next time. So, in the meantime, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to support me on Patreon so that I can pay for the channel and continue to make videos, that'd be fantastic because I have no income right now. But that's up to you guys. Links in the description below as well as for Traria and the Steam page. But I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.